organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE, ABC 15, WWMB, CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. Hey guys, it's a Thursday. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. Hope you've had a great week so far. The week's wrapping up here, but not for a two more days. That's uh, right. We have a lot of fun on this show. There's all kind of interesting things. And if you've right. just moved in the area, you might want to watch this show because we're going to tell you everything that's going on in the PD, North Carolina, the Grand Strand. It all happens right here on this show. That's right. And look, look how nicely we matched today. Yeah, we matched. We didn't plan it either. <laughs> great minds, right, buddy? Yes, you got all it. All right, let's check out our weather for today. Happy Thursday to you. Let's take a look at our Garden City Dunes Realty Skycam. A lot of people really enjoying the beaches out there. We do have a couple of fair weather cumulus clouds, maybe even some high stratus clouds out there. But for the most part, we're dealing with quite a bit of sunshine. We're also, of course, still dealing with that heat and humidity. This ridge of high pressure is going to continue to dominate not only our area, but the southeast, a lot of the mid-Atlantic, a lot of the eastern seaboard, all the showers off the coast. We're not dealing with showers across our region right now, although we do have a slim chance to see an isolated shower developing along the sea breeze as it marches inland. Now these are your current feels like or heat index values when you factor in the actual temperature factor in that dew point. It feels like 103 degrees in portions of Scotland County there in Laurenburg. 100 is that feels like temperature there in Bennettsville. 92 in Marion. 99 in Lumberton. Even along the coast, no relief from the heat there. Feeling like 97 in Georgetown along with Johnsonville and 96 right toward the Grand Strand. Now check out your Grand Strand temperature and heat index values over the next five days. As I mentioned, that ridge, it's not going to break. This high pressure is going to dominate our area, bringing us a lot of heat and those dew points too. These numbers that you're seeing on the bottom stack, just above that orange bar, those are your actual temperatures factoring in that humidity. The 104 Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, even hotter as we make our way inland, feeling like 107 as we head through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with those actual temperatures in the upper 90s. Switching gears, tracking the tropics, well, not so much tracking the tropics. No tropical cyclone activity is expected over the next 48 hours or over the next five days. We did have tropical storm dawn and we also had that one area that we were watching with a 30% chance for development, but the atmospheric conditions just not favorable for any development. So right now the tropics are quiet, but of course don't let your guard down. It only takes one. Here's your Grand Strand seven day forecast 90 as we head through your Thursday, Friday and heading into the weekend. It's going to be hot and it's going to be humid with those actual temperatures in the 90s, but it's going to feel like it's in the triple digits. A cold front will be moving into our region Monday, heading into really much of next week. It's going to give us widely scattered showers with isolated storms. Your inland seven day forecast 95 for your Thursday, 98 as we head through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but prepare for the heat with those triple digit heat index values. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. Hey guys, welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, so as you have seen, we've been doing the Where in the World are Cecil and Amanda. That's right, it's right there on our Facebook page. What we want you to do is go to our Facebook page, print it out, or you can stop by the station and get one. Take pictures when you go out wherever you're going, out to dinner, out of the country. We want to see where in the world we have gone at the end of the week. So that means tomorrow you've got a little bit longer to get them in. We will show you our where in the world pictures. That's right. That's what we do around here. We like to know where we've been. All right, let's find out a place where I get all of my clothing. From. Let's talk about to? it. Sure. Let's talk about the Haberdashery Gentlemen's Clothers of Conway. Now, they've been uh, making Southern guys look great since 1988. Now, the summer wear is there. You better believe it. They have a lot of stuff in there. Check out the T-shirts. I'm talking about the Vineyard Vine, Southern Tide, and Fripp and Folly, just the name of you. Now they also carry a large assortment of swimwear, of course, you've got to check those out. Shorts, beach towels, you got flip-flops, and of course sunglasses. Now don't forget to top off your outfit. Huge selection of hats and visors, you're definitely going to need them. The Haberdashery Gentleman's Clothes is fully stocked to get you ready for the beach. And uh, oh, by the way, don't forget wedding season, they rent and sell formal wear for that special event. 
the haberdashery is where I get all of my clothing. And uh, when you go in there, you see this mural on the wall when you're walking into their place. Yeah. We're going to talk to the lady today that put all that in. How cool is that? How about that? that? Way to set that one up. Perfect, bud. I did. Fantastic. All yeah. Right. <laughs> I love it. All right. Let's talk about Volkswagen of Florence. Volkswagen of Florence right over there on Coit Street in Florence. Go check them out. Lots of great cars. You know, I was there last weekend. They also have a great selection of used cars. So go in, check it out. I've actually got John Keys sitting right next to me today again. So go see John and the guys down there at Volkswagen of Florence. They'll take care of you. Right now I'm driving the 2017 Volkswagen Tour. I get to see Wolfsburg edition and it's a great, great car. My kids Kids love it. It's got a great moonroof, all kinds of stuff, and one of the safest cars on the market. So go check it out right there in Florence. And you can check it out, mrvwofflorence.com. All well. right, let's find out a little bit about today. Of course, today is July 20th, and this is nap day. I can deal with that. that sounds good to me. It is also National Lollipop Day. All right, let's find out a little bit about birthdays today. Let's go back to 1947. You know who that is. Carlos Santana. 70 years old, the Latin guitarist, has won 10 Emmys and three Latin Grammys, 2000 Best Rock Album. Boy, he is something else. All right, 1971, Sandra Oh. She is 46 years old, TV's uh, show Grey's Anatomy, films The Princess Diaries, Sideways, and in the early days, she was a proponent of banning styrofoam cups. Oh, okay. 1973, Omar Epps. He's 44 years old, TV, ER, and House MD. And he had a rap band called Wolfpack. Can you believe that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Once, and he was a backup dancer for Queen Latifah. A backup dancer. That's kind of cool. Yeah, he's in the background. Do that again. Hold I on. Can't. Wait I till can't the picture goes away. Do it again. Queen Latifah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's, there we go. All right, today, All right, let's go. Today in history. That's right. 1965, <laughs> Bob Dylan's Like a Rolling Stone was released. And in 1969, Apollo 11 astronauts Neil Armstrong and Edwin Alder Jr. became the first men to walk on the moon. All right, from the Know It All Department, everybody waits for this one all the time. I didn't right. read it either. I'm you scared. You didn't read this one. Yeah, I don't like you, you never to. Know. <laughs> all right, I'm sure a lot of you at one time have tried to see how long you could hold your breath. You know, especially when you're a kid, you know, your parents say to you, you try to hold your breath. Well, what do you think the world's record is for holding your breath? Anybody know? Anybody take a guess? How many minutes? No clue. Y'all know? Nobody? Six minutes. He says three. He says five. Five? Six. Nah. We don't have a prize. Listen so. to this. In 2012, Tom Siestas held his breath underwater for 22 minutes and 22 seconds. There's no way. I'd be dead. You can't do that. I don't know how you did There's it. There's no way. It's a world record. What? It's, it, it, it's a world record. Okay. 22 Where'd minutes. Where did that come from? The internet. Of course. We know it's Everything's the truth. Everything's right on the internet. <laughs> all right. That's it from the Know It All department today. A great show lined up. Some fun stuff. Stick around. That's right. We'll be we'll right, be right back. back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, we've got something coming up on the CW21 that's going to be a big, big deal. That's right. Yes, sir. And I'm talking about Thursday night lights, football, high school. What else could you ask for? That's right. And one of the sponsors, Mike Rickenbaugh, Ford Lincoln, right there in Florence. I'm going to talk a little bit to John Keyes. I told you he was with me. I told you he was in the studio. <laughs> there he is. Talk, let's talk about Thursday night lights. Why is this such a big deal? And why do you guys want to get involved? Well, high school football is, is great. I mean, it's in the PD, in the Grand Strand. Like I said, he's got some of the greatest athletes in the country. Uh, we're, we're sponsoring six games. It's going to be televised live by, by Sinclair. And... Uh, Starting on August 24th, we got a great game of Hartsville and, and South Florence, I believe it is. And, uh, and there's a we're lineup ready. right there. We can yeah. see it right there. I mean, this this is South Florence and Hartsville. Those are two good teams. It's two very good teams. Yeah. We're looking forward to being out there. We're gonna uh, at halftime. I'm gonna be out there, and hopefully Mike's gonna be out there, and we're gonna we're gonna provide the host school a check, a donation, uh, and help them out a little bit. But but most importantly, we're gonna see some great athletes out there showcasing their talent. Yeah, what a better way to be able to showcase it but on TV. What a great opportunity for these schools. Some of the other ones we've got here, West Florence, Marlboro, Darlington, Carolina Forest, just to name a few. And for them to get this much TV coverage that's right. at that's, high school, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I mean, there, years ago, I, I played a little bit of high school football, and, man, to be on TV would have been too. just, just That'd wonderful. That would have been wild, wouldn't it? Yeah. I would have probably been on the sidelines. <laughs> but, but at least I'd, maybe they would have saw me if they panned over. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about six games. Now, this is on CW21, uh, and uh, it'll be on, on Thursday nights. Thursday Night Lights is what it's called. That's right. So, if, you know, instead of older people that love football 
they get a chance to still watch high school football if they can't go to all the Instead games. Instead of having to go out to the games, right, you can watch it right there on TV live and, and see some great talent. That's right. So. And just in a couple weeks, August 24th is that opener game right there, Hartsville and South Florence. Now, Mike Rick and Mo, you guys get involved, you know, with the community, and this is just another way for you to do that. So we really appreciate you coming out, being involved in the community. Why is that so important to you guys? Well, it's, you know, we sell cars and, you know, that's, that's the main thing in the way we make our money but to give a little bit back every way we can we try to we try to give back a, a little bit to everybody we can and this is one of the great ways what what better way to to give back than to invest in our youth so that's right it's one you of the great ways right now john i gotta ask you when you played ball were you this husky at that time not so not, not so much one? not so much that's not a bad question not a bad. i wasn't this big either <laughs> I didn't say fat. I meant husky. You, you know, know, big guy. Actually, no, it's when good. I, it's good. When I graduated high school, I weighed 150 pounds. I weighed 164. My first, okay. my first year in the service, I gained 55 pounds and, and, and grew three inches. So wow. I don't know what they did to me. I don't know. Yeah, we might have to look into that <laughs> there you a go. little bit. All right, coming up Thursday Night Lights right there. One of the sponsors, Mike Rick and Bob Ford Lincoln, right there in Florence. It's going to be a really great time. John, thanks for being with us. Great. Thank you yeah. for having me. Really Thank you. appreciate Husky's it. Husky's not a bad word. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got more coming up. Stay with us. <laughs> it's a Thursday. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. If you are looking for something fun to do, you can count on the Conway Recreation Department, and Foster is here to tell us all about it. That's right. Coming up this weekend is Family Fun Day. All right. Well, every day in Conway is Family Fun, according to Foster. That's right. So let's find out what Family <laughs> Fun Day is all about. That's right. And, you know, July is Parks and Recreation Month, and our slogan is Get Your Play On. So this Saturday at Smith Jones Park, we want you to get your play on with our Family Fun Day. It's going to be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, Smith Jones Park is located right off Highway 378. We're going to have free activities for all the family. Free hot dogs, so come out and get free hot dogs Whoa. and drinks. Uh, we're going to have water features out there, free swimming at the swimming pool, games and activities the entire time, balloon artists. It is really just a, a time for folks to come out and enjoy themselves in the park. Well, and what a better day. You know, there's not a better day to do this, especially with all the water activities. That's so right. It's going to be hot this weekend, but <laughs> you're going to have ways to keep cool. Absolutely. Yeah, that's right. We had a family fun day last week, and we only had one water feature, so we learned. So this time it's going to be at a <laughs> swimming pool. So. And how, right. was that, how was that turnout? How it was great. We had a great do? turnout. Gave out over 300 hot dogs, and we expect to give out even more this weekend. Wow. All right, now what's the cost of that? Tell them. 100% free. I like that. Yes. Everybody likes free. <laughs> free, <laughs> absolutely. Y'all got so much going on. Conway does so long, much. How long you been with Conway? Seven Richard? years. Seven mm -hmm. years? Yeah. Where are you from originally? I'm from Burlington, North Carolina Burlington. originally. Are yep. you really? Yeah. Yeah. My mom's whole family music, is there. Beach yeah. music yeah. area up there. Yeah. All right, now we're talking about this. Now, who can come to this? Who can get it? Anyone can come. Anyone, as long as you can find where Smith Jones Park is, it's located off Highway 378 in Conway, anyone can come and right. participate. What else is going on for the rec department? Y'all signing up fall sports? Fall sports registration is going on now. Tomorrow night we've got a movie in the park. We're showing Wally. -E. And then next uh, Tuesday the 5th, we're having our Conway Superstar competition as well. So a lot of activities going oh, wow. on. Superstar? What is that? What's that about? Conway Superstar is a singing competition. Oh. And so we break it down into age groups. It's uh, it's it's young kids, uh, teenagers, uh, up to 18 years of age. They, they have a competition where they sing, and whoever is the best ends up being the Conway Superstar. And this that. contest has been going on for several years now. It's it. a lot of fun. You were actually an MC for us one year. It's a lot back. of fun. Did you yeah. sing? Yeah, I didn't sing. Yeah. I didn't sing. <laughs> but that's that's a lot of fun. You need to let keep in touch with yeah, some local people before we can get them on. Absolutely. All that's right. right. Yeah. We appreciate you all the time. Family Thank Fun you. Day in Conway Recreation Department. Tell them where. It's going to be at Smith Jones Park on Highway 378. That's you right. Got if it. you can't make it to that, there's plenty of other things. Check out their website for Conway Recreation Department. We'll be back. Carolina and Company Live. All right. Now we're going to talk about sports. Specifically, football. We have rookie running back from the Denver Broncos that was just recruited here, D'Angelo Henderson, with us. We're talking about some sports marketing as well, right? That's right. Over at Coastal Carolina, where he's from, playing, started with them at all. And now they, they have something going on, seeking public relation opportunities uh, in the Myrtle Beach area yeah. for him. You know, and this is, a, this is a big deal, man. I mean, drafted and all, I mean, that's got to make you feel good. Definitely one of the biggest accomplishments that I've had so far. Um, I had a great staff at uh, Coastal with my coaches and my teammates cheering me on along the way as the process went through. But it's one of the biggest moments I've had so far. 
I guess so. Okay, get in that call. I mean, tell us how you <laughs> how, how'd you feel about that, and then we'll get into yeah. the, what, what we what we need to talk about. It felt great. Um, I was patiently just waiting. Um, I thought I was going to get picked up earlier, uh -huh. and it didn't happen. But um, Coach Elway called. Well, John Elway called and asked me if I want to be a Bronco, and I was like. Uh, you darn skippy. Yeah, <laughs> is this really John? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Man, that's, that's pretty awesome. All right, talk about, we're, we're talking about some PR relations yeah. stuff. What is that all about? What you're working on? Oh, well, we're basically really just want to um, get our brand out more. Um, our program, well, our agency has uh, got a few guys in it. Okay. But for the most part, we just want to... Um, Put it out there a little bit more. Okay. Let everybody know what we're about. Publicity. Um, get some more and that's publicity. That's the sports, yeah, right? Yeah. In sports management, yep. yeah. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Now this. All right. Now, when you're waiting on this, did you sleep at all that night waiting on the draft, waiting to know you were going to get drafted? Well, I worked out the day before just so I can get extra tired, so I can uh, <laughs> sleep. But it didn't work. <laughs> oh man. It didn't work. Mm -hmm. All right. So your experience at Coastal. I mean, you said you had a great experience here at Coastal. Talk a little bit about that. Going to Coastal was probably the greatest decision I made coming out of high school. Um, Where I got are you from? recruited by Somerville. Somerville. Yeah. So I got recruited by a great staff with Coach Bennett. Um, Maurice Drayton was my recruiting coordinator, and um, the year I came in was the year that they got fired. So. Right. It kind of sucked a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. It does. There's, a, there's a website right there if you want to know more about uh, what to do and looking for opportunities, relationship opportunities, public relations opportunities. You want to promote what they get out and Sports do. Sports management. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean it's, a, it's, a, it's a great degree. It's a great career mm -hmm. yeah. and lot, lots to offer with yeah. that. So uh, last summer, summer um, going into 16, um, I did an internship with the Indianapolis Colts in their great. marketing department yeah. and um, kind of got some good connections there. And um, they told me if football didn't work out, I'd give them a call and we'll, well see what happens. That's what it's all okay, about. When John calls you back, tell him I Cecil had said hello, okay? I'll let him Wait, know. Wait, tell him. <laughs> he'll want to know that a man oh, sent me. Let Thanks him know. for being with us. Oh, we appreciate it. Oh, thank y'all. Y'all stick around. We'll be back. back everybody all right now we've got a person that does a lot of murals in fact where i get my clothes from at haberdashery that's right when you walk in there's a huge mural everywhere and she did it that's all right we have an artist and we you know we love having local artists on the show and ruth is with us now ruth first of all tell us a little bit about yourself how long have you been have you been in art how long have you been painting since i was old enough to hold a pencil okay well there it is <laughs> when i was a little tiny kid i used to stay up late at the dining room table drawing pictures Everybody oh. else would go to bed and I'd be sitting there drawing. I love it. And you're fantastic. teaching some art classes now. Yes. You're doing some where? Where's in, that? In uh, the Sunset River Gallery in Calabash. Yeah, I, I know three, where that is. three classes every week that goes on there. Beginners, right. beginners and advanced. Well, you do a lot of murals. It's unbelievable. And I really saw yours when I walked in there for the first time. These are just some pictures we're looking at now, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And she does a lot of artwork, pictures and all. But the murals, wow. they're just amazing. Look some how realistic murals. that is. I know is. it is. Oh, my goodness. That's wonderful. Now, Murals. I mean, that's a pretty, a literally large undertaking. Yes. Uh, t tell us about that. What makes you want to do murals? Because I feel like it's very different from on campus or something. Well, one of the best things that we did as a family when my kids were teenagers was that we joined the Theater of the Republic. All right. And my uh, husband and my two sons are all musically talented, and they have good voices and didn't were afraid to get up on stage. <laughs> so they were in the shows, and I painted the backdrops and I ran the lights. It was the most fun we've had in, uh, ever. But painting those backdrops was a revelation to me because they were huge. And I had to plan them and That's sketch a lot them of work. out. Yes. Well, and it's a lot wow. different your eye planning that versus a small canvas as yeah. such as we see. So in you, have, you have to think of what you're going to see from way back in the theater instead of what you're going to have right in front of you. So right, now, where, are some, where are some of your murals beside the haberdashery? Name uh, a few I places. I the Chamber of Commerce in Conway. Okay. okay. At Coral Beach Hotel at Myrtle Beach. Yeah. At Magnolia Restaurant in Myrtle Beach. And those the, are good. Okay. Uh, library in Calabash. Okay. There's. Um, I so even, they're I got these yeah, hundreds of them. I can't and right remember. here, the website. Well, thank you so yeah, much. Mural what is it? Muralistic. Muralistic.com. There it is right there. You can check out more. Ruth, thank you so much for being on the show. Okay. We really, really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. All right, we got a lot more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
guys. We've had a great time to hear today. Time here today. Ta Woo! Woo! I'm but glad the show's okay, over. Hold on. Right. That's live TV for you. Right there. You just saw <laughs> it right. firsthand. We have had a great day. It's a Thursday tomorrow. Wrapping up before the weekend starts. That's right. Don't forget, come back tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Thank you so much for joining us. Tell your friends uh, all about the show. And <laughs> there's a guy off to the side here. We don't want to see him, but he's coming on there anyway. Is. I know he Cameraman. is. Cameraman. Keith, Keith, the morning guy that gets out. Good to see you. <laughs> have, have a great, great day, everybody. See you later. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB C2.